In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this audio player in SwiftUI. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I will make a new project called Audio Player Tutorial. Okay, great. So first of all, we should import a library called AV kit or AV kit like this and let's import an audio file to our Xcode project I will drag my file to my Xcode project and click finish okay so now we have an file make a variable for your audio file name and write your file name as in your project it should be saved and also we can change variable to let and let's delete this v stack open new z stack or z stack and write color black and ignore safe area that all to make background black and open new v stack write a title for your file name we will just write a custom name we're not gonna get it from file name so make it the font title and also and also foreground also foreground color is white so under text open new v stack for our audio player and from beginning let's add a spacing 20 and delete content let's add an image system name for playing and stopping the audio so for this i will use play circle dot fill foreground color white so also we can use foreground color white uh, in the bottom of the v stack because if it's not we should add for all objects we have in in screen so we will add from the v stack under v stack foreground color white also let's add a v stack spacing for example let's add 20 yeah it's look better now let's add a font for this icon called large title and we should add a boolean variable to set from play to pause the video or audio so uh, for this go up and write state private variable is playing equal by default it's false so in your icon name system name and is playing private variable and question mark so if it's true like it's playing we should display a circle dot fill like this and if it's not show play and let's change from true, false to true with clicking on this icon so right is playing toggle okay so let's see Oh, okay uh, we should change circle like this to show the email okay now we can click on it you can see it's switching between true to false great for playing this audio we should have a function to play audio and stop the audio okay so go to under body variable and open private function called play audio go top again let's make another private variable state private variable called player and the type is av player or av audio player sorry and add question mark so go down to your function and write player dot play and when we click on it we should replace from pause to playing right so let's also toggle is playing to false also let's add stop audio so i will change play to stop and play to pause like this and is playing uh, it should be false and make this to true so change false to true and make this false so let's go to on clicking on this icon so let's change is playing toggle to is playing question mark if it's playing stop audio and if it's not play the audio so now let's again 
check it okay it's still working but the audio is not adding yet so we will add in future so let's make a function for audio playing so make a private function and name it setup audio guard that url equal to bundle dot main dot main dot url and for resource we have a file name we should copy this name or directly you can write bird like this and also you can paste your file name we just made a variable so with extension we should write mp3 file right because it's audio file and else if it's file not exist we should return an error or just return it like this so let's do catch first write player equal to try add audio player and the contents of our URL okay to playing the audio and also make it player question mark prepare to play and also we will add a timeline and we will add a timeline so we should change a timeline value okay so let's add a new variable so just you can copy this and paste it so change the name to total time the type is time time interval and equal to 0, 0 and also let's add from our function total time equal to player question mark and dot duration question mark and dot zero also let's add catch to return an error error loading audio and display the error we should add on appear so uh, let's add on appear and confirm setup audio we should work let's try yeah it's working nice so let's add timeline under stop audio i will add my function called update progress so you should add also this function make it a private function and name it update progress so guard let player player else return so current time we should add a private uh, variable state variable state private variable current time time interval like in this total time and make it zero so here call the current time player dot current time so let's add another function called seek audio also you should write this function we have time string to display the current time minutes and seconds so also write this function so let's make a design first of all add a slider and value it binding getting from current time right our private variable lastly we will add the current minute and seconds so open new edge stack and add two text with spacer so time string time current time to getting for displaying the current second and minute and also how many seconds or minutes this audio so we have a five second for this file audio file so we are displaying and add a spacer between them to displaying on right and left of screen okay now we can test it how it look like so play the audio okay we should add on receive under z stack write on receive timer publish and every 0 0.1 like it's gonna updating and uh, update progress we made also this function now we should able to see current second and moving this timeline so let's play again okay we can see uh, the second it's updating nice it's working perfectly so also you can add a background to your audio player select your v stack and go under on your v stack and add a padding also background dot ultra thin material and a corner radius so let's play again okay so everything looks great it was a video thanks for watching